So I found this magnolia leaf at Target um, a few weeks ago. It was in the Target dollar spot. Um, it was $3, but when I ring it up, it actually was $1.50. So it was on clearance and I think I can do a lot with this. I want to recreate a tablescape that I saw. So this is going to be one of the pieces I use. So if you want to see how I put that tablescape together, make sure you keep watching. Welcome back to my channel. This is Cheryl with iStyle, my style. And today I thought I would share with you a simple modern Thanksgiving tablescape. You guys know I love decorating in black and white. So I was inspired when I saw this really pretty tablescape that I saw on the Crate and Barrel website. And as you can see, it is so beautiful. It's very simple. And I wanted to try to recreate that luxe look for last. You guys know I am all about creating a luxurious home on a budget. And I wanted to do the same with this tablescape. So you guys know I had to pull out my trusty china that I thrifted. it. I absolutely love it. I use it a lot as you can tell from my videos these were i want to say 59 cents i don't remember i think 59 cents and i absolutely love them i love the silver detail they go well with every occasion so i always use those i am using a black charger our inspiration tablescape featured solid white dishes and i don't have those so I am using what I have on hand, and that is a tip I will give you. You don't have to go out and buy new things. Always use things that you have on hand. Shop your home, and you can still get an elegant, creative tablescape using items that you already have. And so you don't have to go out and spend a lot of money. So we're using a black charger. We're using my black silverware that I picked up from Amazon, and we're using that magnolia plant that I picked up from the Target dollar spot. As you can see in our Crate and Barrel Inspiration piece, they use magnolia leaves. And when I saw that magnolia leaf at the Target dollar spot for $3, I felt like I could use that to recreate this look. Now, the pumpkins are a DIY. I painted these pumpkins using a latex paint, and that's why you see that sheen on them. I absolutely love them, and I think they mimic our inspiration piece perfectly. Those are ceramic pumpkins. These are plastic with the look of ceramic because of the way we painted them, and I absolutely love them. They were pumpkins I picked up after the holiday several years ago and I just painted. So you can do a lot guys with paint. So these pumpkins were less than a dollar, maybe $2 um, for the big one in the middle and the other ones were a dollar or less. And the bigger ones like these, um, I think they came 
came from Walmart. I don't remember, but the pumpkins um, from our inspiration tablescape are very expensive and I think we have gotten the same look for a lot less. Our wine glasses, we are using our really tall wine glasses that I picked up from Amazon. These are white wine glasses. I picked up a set of 12 glasses that came with the large red glasses and these wine glasses for, I think it's like $70. Um, but for 12, I didn't think it was too bad and I use these a lot as well. So leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think of my simple modern tablescape. Again, our inspiration piece or our inspiration tablescape was Crate and Barrel. And I think our tablescape does that one justice all on a budget. So leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think. Would you recreate this tablescape for Thanksgiving? Yes, it is simple. Yes, it is black and white, but you don't have to use black and white. You can use your own colors and create the look and feel that you want in your own home. I absolutely love it, even though it is very modern. It is simple. It is totally my aesthetic. And I think I will use this for my Thanksgiving table. We'll see. I have three more Thanksgiving tablescapes coming up. So make sure you hit the subscribe button, tap the notification bell, so you don't miss any of those upcoming uploads. I hope this has inspired you, and I hope to see you in the next one.